should have lived with that, bro. Yeah. Not bad. I love it. It's perfect. Sounds like we need to call pest control. What was that? Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This is going to be my video all about the Supergirl cancellation. I'll explain what's going on with the DC TV shows, why they decided to end the show, especially because of what's going on with the Justice League Snyder Cut in the big budget DC HBO shows that Warner Brothers is developing separately that are not connected to the CW DC TV shows. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We'll do a new Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know which big DC HBO show you're most excited to see. So just starting with the big stuff first, number five. This past week, Warner Brothers TV and the producers of Supergirl, including Melissa, announced that they were ending the show after the upcoming season six, that they were getting ready to start filming this month. It was a bit of a surprise given how much time they'd spent hyping her character up during Crisis on Infinite Earths with the Flash and that ending scene. They literally put her front and center in this lineup with Superman in the background, even though he's a much bigger character. Here's the official statement that Deadline, Variety, all the Hollywood trades are reporting. So it says, between the delays, talking about virus delays, and Supergirl's downward ratings trajectory, I hear that the producers, the studio, and the network, and Melissa came to a decision that it was better to end the show with a longer final season. That means more than the typical 20 episodes. The creative team has started developing storylines for the final 20 episodes. The order is expected to be longer than most broadcast series this coming season, including the CW scripted shows, which will be launching in January and beyond. None of the CW DC TV shows like The Flash or the new Superman TV show will be premiering till January or a little bit later. As it keeps adding new series every season, the CW has also been retiring veterans. It ended three established series in each of the last two seasons, including Arrow, Supernatural, The 100 this past season. The network, which traditionally gives its long-running series a proper farewell by announcing their final seasons ahead of time, will likely reveal more shows coming to an end after the upcoming season in the coming weeks. That means they also might be canceling some of the other DC shows coming pretty soon. I'll address that in a second. But number four, something that they don't mention in all the articles that are being posted is the fact that Melissa just had a baby recently and her desire to spend more time at home with the baby also played a factor in canceling Supergirl. But here's the thing with that, they knew that baby was coming a while ago. That wasn't a brand new surprise thing that just happened out of nowhere. And earlier this year, they'd already been talking about next year's crossover after Crisis on Infinite Earths. How do they follow that up? They'd been talking about more minor crossovers with other DC TV shows like The Flash, even Stargirl crossovers, which is now fully a CW DC TV show as of season two. They literally bought that show from the DC universe and they own it now. There was even a big Crisis on Infinite Earths DC fandom panel where they were supposed to release a bunch of deleted scenes from Crisis, but for whatever reason, there was some issue that prevented them from doing that. I don't know which scenes they were going to release, but I've already done some deleted scene videos for Crisis on Infinite Earths. Like there was a Michael Keaton Batman deleted scene that they had developed, but never wound up making it to screen. But obviously, things are not well in the CW DC TV universe. Just a little while ago, they announced that Ruby Rose was quitting the Batwoman show. They recast the role. So it just seems like the CW in DC TV universe, the Arrowverse, is crumbling since Arrow ended. Now Supergirl's ending, and some of the other shows, as they say in that big news announcement, are also getting ready to end. As you probably guessed, Legends of Tomorrow and Black Lightning are the two other shows that are on the chopping block after next season. There's a rating slowly in decline, and there's a lot of other stuff going on at Warner Brothers behind the scenes that I'll talk about in a second too with the big budget HBO stuff. 
Number three, though, the other major reason that's not listed in a lot of these articles is that there's a new Superman TV show with Tyler Hecklin's Superman starting next season. They'll be filming later this year, and new episodes will obviously start filming next year alongside The Flash Season 7. This is the upcoming broadcast schedule they announced, so you can see they're already hyping up Superman and The Flash together. Grant Gustin said that he hopes that they get to do a ton of Superman Flash crossovers. The episode schedule is a little wonky, though, just because of the virus delays. The shows would normally be doing 20 to 22 episodes per season, but I think some of the shows will be doing a little bit less than that just because of the scheduling issues. The new Superman series is kind of like a sequel series to Smallville, a spiritual successor. It's an older version of Superman and Lois Lane moving back to Smallville to raise their twin Superboy sons after having lived in Metropolis for many years. His version of Superman has been Superman for a good long while. Smallville ended the finale right as he was officially taking the mantle and started to wear the costume. So you have to imagine what Smallville would have been like as a show 15 years later after they'd have kids and raise them. They're getting a little bit weird with the Crisis on Infinite Earths retcons to their backstories in that final episode. They started Crisis with baby John Ken, but after Crisis, the new changes are that they have twin boys and they're both teenagers who are fraternal twins. You can also kind of see what they're doing creatively with a Supergirl TV show because the Superman show has started taking some of the characters from Supergirl and recasting them with new actors. So you'll see a lot of the same characters show up. It'll just be different actors playing those roles. You could chalk it up to Crisis on Infinite Earths. You could call it whatever you want, soft retcons. It just seems like they're rewriting a little bit of Supergirl history for this Superman TV show. Number two, also, they haven't talked about it since the Supergirl cancellation announcement, but the idea now is, is that Melissa and some of the mains from the Supergirl TV show like Martian Manhunter will just start guest starring on the Superman TV show every season and come back for future big crossovers. You can make all the jokes you want to about that Justice League scene at the end of Crisis on Infinite Earths because half of the people at that table probably won't be around in another year or so. But I think they're going to keep a lot of the Justice League stuff they do on the DC TV universe to the big crossovers, particularly because they have a big HBO series coming with Justice League in the title. Actually, technically, too, if you include the Snyder Cut. But the Supergirl character isn't really going anywhere. You just won't see her every single week after next season is over. And they'll just use the next season of that show to explain what she's going to be doing between big future cameo appearances on other shows. They also said that next year's crossover is supposed to be mainly a Superman-centric event, and originally they had talked about doing a Superman-Batman-style smaller crossover that would have featured Batwoman, but I don't know if that's changed because of what happened with Ruby Rose leaving that show and them recasting. In number one, the obvious elephant in the room that I haven't talked about yet is that as the DC TV shows are all starting to end or getting close to ending, The Flash is still going to go on for a little bit longer. Warner Brothers and AT&T have started to refocus their attention on mostly developing the big budget HBO DC shows based on all the DC movies, like the Batman HBO series they just announced, the Green Lantern series, Justice League Dark, even the new Constantine series that they're talking about doing is going to be an HBO show. You have Titans Season 3, Doom Patrol Season 3, all the DC Universe stuff. Those are HBO shows starting next season. So it's pretty clear that the DC movies are replacing the TV shows as the new TV. And how does the CW compete with a $150 million budget for a TV show that only does eight episodes? There was even a quote from an AT&T executive saying that their DC HBO shows would have the highest level of production quality. That kind of felt like a sick burn on the CW DC TV shows. Like, do those not have the highest level of production quality? So there's just no way that the CW can compete with what's going on in the DC HBO series. If you don't know what's going on with some of those, the Batman HBO show is going to be based on Robert Pattinson's new Batman movies. Matt Reeves developed it personally, and it's going to be a Batman year one show. So I'll explain more about that. Of course, I'll be doing episode videos for all that stuff. You've been asking for a Batman HBO series for years now. They're finally giving it to you. It seemed like a no brainer. In the Constantine HBO show that they were talking about is coming from J.J. Abrams' people out of the Justice League Dark HBO series that they're also doing. There was some talk about them trying to bring back Keanu Reeves as Constantine for a new project because during the Flash movie panel, they had some footage from his movie when they were talking about connecting everything using the multiverse in Flashpoint. As for Tom Welling coming back and guest starring on the new Superman TV show, because they are going to be set during Smallville and they're going to be using a lot of the same looking sets as the Smallville TV show did. I think that just depends on whether or not he wants to come back. I think they would have him anytime he wanted to come back. 
But everyone, click here for the new Superman trailer for that Superman TV show, and click here for my new Justice League Snyder Cut Batman scenes and trailer footage. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.